What is up guys, this is Henry from Northern Card Gaming and today I have you guys a special deck profile. It is True Draco Zodiacs and it is Post Code of the Duelist. Now it features Mrs. Radiant as we are now in link format. It also features a few other cool techs and we will get into it shortly. So without further ado, here is my rendition of True Draco Zoo. Getting into the deck profile, we have our True Draco monsters. We only play two copies of Masterpiece, the True Draco Slaying King. Perfect ratio, you don't want to draw two in your opening hand. But, since we are playing Desires, we don't want to bash it off Desires. And if we do, we want to have one left. So, best card in Yu-Gi-Oh, especially mid to late game. And we are playing two copies of it. Next up, we play three copies of Ignis Heat, the True Draco Warrior. This is probably the best card going second. However, as Patrick Hoban says, if we're going first, we're probably doing a lot of good things anyway. So we are playing three. We have two copies of Dynamite Knight, the True Draco Fighter. This is definitely the best one going first, and so when we do win the dice roll, we want to try to search this guy out, search our traps, and get going. Then on to the Zodiac monsters. We have two copies of Zodiac Rapier, of course. Still gets us a lot of advantage. If we end up not using the extra rat, we can always use it to tribute summon for a true Draco. It is a very good card. Then on top of Rat Pierre, we have two copies of Zodiac Ram Ram. Continuing on, we play one copy of Zodiac Thoroughblade to get all the extra zoos out of our hand. We play one copy of Zodiac Whiptail. Only really need one right now. It's really good at removing defense position True Dracos off your opponent's board, especially once they return with True Draco, True King's return. So uh, Zodiac Whiptail is very useful. And then to finish up the Zodiacs, we have a new member to the Zodiac team, Zodiac Bunny Blast. This card has been out since Raging Tempest, however, it hasn't seen much play. I think that this deck um, quite utilizes Bunny Blast in a unique way because you have access to Dragonic Diagram. Opening up with Rat and Diagram searches Zodiac Barrage from the deck with Bunny Blast because what you have to do is you normal summon the Rapier, you send Barrage, and then you pop the, um, you, you add Bunny Blast off of Broad Bowl and you pop Bunny Blast with the Diagram and add Barrage. So it's essentially searching Zodiac Barrage from your deck. So we do play one copy of Zodiac Bunny Blast. To continue on, we play one copy of Max C and two copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring to end out our monster lineup. Now I think that Ash Blossom is probably the best uh, hand trap right now as far as matchups go. It is very good in the True Draco Demise matchup as well as the mirror match. It's okay against pure zoo, not the best card, very good for stopping their tankies or barrages, but really that's all. So two Ash Blossom could be sided out for Ghost Ogres in the pure Zodiac matchup, but definitely very strong card in the other matchups. So that is it for the monster count. For the spells, we play a very hefty amount of spells. Three copies of Dragonic Diagram, three copies of not yet ultimate rare terraformings we play three copies of zodiac barrage we play three copies of pot of desires we play three copies of true draco heritage probably one of the best spells to play this format with all the true dracos going around right now you can draw off their cards which is very important we also play two copies of Disciples of the True Draco Phoenix. So that is it for those. And for our utility spells, we play one copy of Regeki, one copy of Cosmic Cyclone, and one copy of Upstart Goblin for 39 cards. 
For the traps, we just play two copies of True King's Return and one copy of True Draco's Apocalypse. It's very important to play three total because we want to be able to get two pops in the same turn and we also want to play more than one return. So this is probably the best lineup for the True Draco traps. For the side deck, we play two copies of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Just a very good card against a lot of decks. It pops majority of problem cards in the meta. Pops Barrage, it pops Diagram, all those good cards. So we play two copies of Ghost Ogre. And another card going second that we cited is Gamma Seal. I feel like every time I lose, I get Kaijued. So playing Kaijus, I think this format is very good. For the rest of our side deck, we play two copies of Enemy Controller. Very good in the Zodiac matchup, stealing their Drydens and whatnot. Very powerful. And even in the True Draco matchup, to take their Dynamite Knights or their Ignises or even their Masterpieces, very strong. For the pure Demise, True Draco Demise matchup, we play three copies of Mask of Restrict. Very good. If you open up with a True Draco plus Mask of Mask of Restrict, they have almost no way of getting around it. And if you pair, um, if you pair up Dryden with it, then the only way to get around it, as far as their engine goes, is by activating Diagram and popping a spell. And so if you if you um, Dryden the Diagram, then Mask of Restrict should stay on the field. So we play three of those. Three of the best trap card in the True Draco matchup is Magic Deflector. Stops all their cards. It's almost like a Dimensional Barrier of sorts because it just really ends their turn. And then speaking of Dimensional Barrier, we play two of that for the Pure Zoo matchup. And we play one Imperial Order to finish up the side deck. For the extra deck, we play one copy of the new Link Monster, Mrs. Radiant. You don't really make it so often, but it allows you to go into extra plays. So one Mrs. Radiant is very important. Then for the zoos, we play one Hammer Kong, one Borbo, two Tiger Mortar, two Shekka Nine, two Broadbull, two Dryden. So a total of ten zoos. It's very important to keep your Dridents in the main monster zone. So what by that I mean that you want to be making the uh, Borbo. Then you go into Hammer Kong. Oh, sorry, uh, Broadbull rather. You detach Borbo and search. And then you make a Drident. And if you can, you Drident pop. If you can't, you just leave it over the Broadbull and overlay for Shackanine. Then you detach and bring this back. And then you tiger, and then you put it under there, and then you would end with a hammer kong. So you have hammer kong and dryden, and this is very important because if this lives, you can make a broad bull the next turn, and this stays in the main monster zone, which is very important. So it frees up. If this leaves, you can still have an extra dryden. So it's very important to play it that way. So that is basically one of the ways that you'll be making your um, zoo plays a little bit different than last format, but that's the way it goes. Then we're going to play one Emerald, one Tornado, a Dweller, and a Carnagorgon for our utility exes. This one you go into the most probably, and then this one the second most, and for the third most, they kind of like switch here and there. I don't know which one I like better. I might cut one of them for a Dryden, but Everyone says the Dweller is better, but I like to think that Kana Gorgon is better because it stops a lot of things, and I think that it's probably a better card in matchups like Pendulums and things like that, but I could be wrong, so I do play the Dweller as well, but if I do find out which one is inferior, for certain I'll probably cut the other for a Dryden, so... Anyway guys, that is my rendition of the True Draco Zodiac deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a deck that I will keep on playing until the rest of the format or unless 
Zodiacs get hit. But for now, I think that this is still the best deck. So I think you guys should give it a try. And it's probably your best option for being a competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! player in this format. So anyway, guys, this is Henry from Northern Card Gaming signing off. Deuces, guys.